Hello and welcome to this presentation. During this 20 minutes video, I will introduce you to the challenges related to noise in the industry and then show you how acoustic radiation simulations with Actron can help you reduce noise and improve the sound quality of your products. As an introduction, I would like to review the main reasons why acoustics is studied in many companies. For many products in various industries, the most important constraints are noise regulations. These regulations are set by different organizations and define noise limits for health and environment considerations. In aeronautics, for example, aircraft noise at takeoff, during flight and landing is constrained to reduce the inconvenience for those living near airports. For the automotive industry, Pass-by noise regulation is putting a very large pressure on automotive OEMs and their suppliers through more and more challenging constraints. A second aspect is the acoustic signature. For sports car in particular, the tailpipe noise is a signature of the car brand. Adjustments are done by acoustic engineers on the engine and the exhaust line components to shape a sound that corresponds to the brand. Let's listen to an example. I will play two sounds which both are from V8 engine cars. The difference between the two cars are engine and exhaust line designs. So here is the first one. And here is the second one. You can hear how much impact these modifications have on the sound of the car. A product can also be designed to generate sound with good energy performance. This means that the objective is to obtain the most acoustic energy and the best sound fidelity with a given electric power. This is exactly the case for loudspeaker, for example. Finally, comfort is also a very important aspect. For heavy machineries or truck, uh, manufacturers are paying a lot of attention to cabin noise because workers spend their entire day using the products. And high noise level can uh, cause health and concentration issues. Uh, the same applies when you are driving your car. You certainly want to, have to be in a quiet environment and to be able to listen to your favorite song. So, as a company that is facing acoustic challenges because of one or several of these reasons, you certainly ask yourself, how can I better integrate these aspects in the development of my product? And this is exactly the question we are going to answer during this presentation. You can consider two ways of dealing with acoustics in the development of your product. The first one is what I will call acoustic surgery. So a problem is studied and fixed when the noise issue appears. The second one consists in integrating acoustic consideration in the development process and anticipate issues. This is what I will call acoustic engineering. Very often the best solution is acoustic engineering because when doing acoustic surgery, you usually have limited degrees of freedom to change the existing design. For both acoustic surgery and acoustic engineering, acoustic simulation offers solutions for better acoustic design. The acoustic performance can be evaluated before any prototype is built using existing models or calculation results. This means that you can save money on the prototyping and on the testing. But also, you will see later during this presentation that simulation provides you with tools to understand the physical phenomena and come up with better new design proposals. Actron is the acoustic simulation solution I would like to introduce you to uh, during the rest of this presentation. To compute acoustic radiation, Actron only needs a geometry and structure vibrations. These vibrations can be computed by another software or directly computed by Actron. 
This means that whatever simulation tool you are already using, you will most probably be able to study acoustics with Actron. Even if you have measurements results, you can use them to feed an Actron model and obtain acoustic simulation results. So, how does Actron work for acoustic radiation? Let's take the example of a car engine. In order to compute the noise created by the engine vibrations, you will need two ingredients. First, you will need the structure vibrations. These vibrations can be computed with another software, such as MSC Nastron. They can be computed with Actron, or they can be measured with accelerometers. The second ingredient is an acoustic mesh. This acoustic mesh consists of a coupling surface surrounding the structure. This is shown in red here. Then we need to have a volume mesh around this coupling surface. And finally, an exterior surface to support a non-reflective boundary condition. And this is shown in green. This acoustic mesh can be created automatically within Actron preprocessor, Actron VI. These two ingredients are then used in a BC mesh boundary condition, which is the dedicated feature of Actron for acoustic radiation, which allows to get acoustic radiation results. I told you that the acoustic radiation calculation requires vibrations. These vibrations can be in time domain or in frequency domain, since Actron can solve the acoustic radiation both in time domain or in frequency domain. And these vibrations can come from finite elements, structure dynamics calculations, multibody dynamics calculations, measurements, or uh, from electromagnetic simulation software if you want, for example, to predict the noise of an electric engine. And these vibrations can be expressed either directly in physical coordinates, so for each frequency or each time you have the direct representation of the vibrations, or in modal coordinates with modal shapes, the natural frequencies and the participation factors associated with each mode and each frequency. Now that you know what are the key ingredients for an Actron acoustic radiation calculation, let's see what kind of information you can get out of this calculation. FFT and Actron have been present in the market for quite a long time now. And during this time, we have supported many companies to do more and more complex simulations. And I think it is interesting to show you this evolution since it is the evolution we very often advise our customer to follow. The first step is usually to start with a simple radiation in free field, which reproduces the acoustic radiation in an anechoic chamber. This kind of model is very simple to create and already provides a lot of useful information, such as sound pressure level, radiated power or transfer pass analysis. In a second step, the vibrating structure is integrated in its environment. For a car engine, for example, this means that we place the engine in the engine bay to optimize the acoustic treatments and the covers that we put around the engine. Finally, even more complete models can be built to account for the complete environment and obtain extremely valuable results. If we go back to our car engine example, this means that we are computing the pass-by noise when the engine is installed in the engine bay. In the second part of the presentation, we will now focus on the key action features used to handle acoustic radiation. We will talk about ease of use, green analysis, performances, automation, and finally, optimization. Let's start with the ease of use. The first important point for the ease of use is the coupling capabilities that Actron has. A very large list of input formats is available, which enables coupling with most engineering software. Actron can handle both time domain and frequency domain data. So most of the time we will use data coming from structure dynamics analysis, 
run, for example, in MSC Nastron, but it can be also run with other equivalent software. But we can also compute noise from mechanisms through an Adams calculation, including flexible bodies. We can compute sloshing noise using results from an explicit fluid structure calculation or electric engine noise using electromagnetic finite element simulation results. A second very important aspect regarding the ease of use is the meshing. For finite element calculation, meshing has always been a complicated task. But with Actron preprocessor, Actron VI, you have access to a set of meshing tools that are dedicated to acoustic mesh creation. You have access to automatic hole filling function and shrink wrap function to create the acoustic coupling surface around your vibrating structure. And then the exterior volume mesh is created automatically by the solver during the calculation. This means that the only mesh required to run the calculation is a closed wrap surface around your vibrating component. And this automatic exterior mesh creation does not only work for simple cases, you can ask Actron to mesh the complete domain around an entire car body, for example. The last item regarding the ease of use is about the post-processing capabilities. When you run an acoustic radiation analysis with Actron, of course you have access to standard acoustic results such as the sound pressure level at a microphone location or the radiated acoustic power. But you also have access to a lot of other post-processing indicators. You can look at maps, directivity plots, animations, waterfall diagrams, for transient phenomena, you can look at Campbell diagrams or listen to the simulated sound. You can perform transfer pass analysis to determine which part of your structure is radiating the most. And all these post-processing indicators will help you understand better what happens. So you can come up with new design proposals to adjust the acoustic performances of your product. The next key feature I would like to present you is the green analysis. Green analysis is a two-step calculation technique based on the reciprocity principle. So if you need to compute the acoustic radiation from this blue surface to the red microphone, the first step will consist in replacing this microphone by a monopole source and then compute the pressure field on the blue surface. This pressure field is independent uh, of the structure vibration. It only depends on the structure geometry and the microphone location. On the second step, this pressure field is multiplied by the structure vibration and integrated over the surface. Thanks to the reciprocity theorem, this gives us the sound pressure at the microphone location. The main advantage of this method is that the second step is extremely fast. So if you change the excitation but not the geometry, the calculation for the different excitation is very fast. This is particularly useful when you want to compute run-ups of a gearbox for all gears in a very fast way. Let's take a realistic example to put some numbers on the performances of green analysis. In this case, we want to compute the acoustic radiation of a car engine in order to obtain the radiated acoustic power. We are performing the radiation step on 18 frequencies between 8 Hz and 4 kHz and evaluating results for more than 3000 frequencies thanks to an interpolation of the pressure field computed during the radiation step. Results are computed for 23 different engine rotation speed using three parallel processes. The complete calculation, including automatic mesh creation, radiation step, and the 23 solution steps, only takes 40 minutes and requires 20 gigabytes of RAM for each process. You can see with this example that it's very easy and fast to obtain acoustic results with green analysis once the structure vibrations are computed. Another feature that was used for this example is mesh adaptivity. 
Before mesh adaptivity was introduced, only one mesh was usually created for each calculation. This mesh was designed to represent accurately the smallest acoustic wavelength associated with the highest frequency to solve, so in this case 4000 Hz. Using only one mesh, the calculation time is the same for all frequencies and the mesh is ex excessively fine for the low frequencies. With mesh adaptivity, the complete frequency range of interest is divided into smaller frequency bands and a dedicated mesh is created automatically by the solver for each frequency band. This method allows to drastically reduce the computation time at low frequency, which causes the entire calculation time to drop significantly. So on this example, the calculation using mesh adaptivity is seven times faster. Let's talk about automation now. Uh, we know that it's important for many companies to integrate simulation in automated processes so all their tools are chained and results can be obtained in a standardized way. Action pre-processing, run and post-processing can be entirely operated through a Python script and dedicated API functions. Any operations performed in Actron graphical user interface is recording in a session file which simplifies greatly the writing of the scripts. For acoustic radiation applications, we also developed a specific program named RADACT. RADACT inputs structure vibrations from Nastron and is then able to do the entire model pre-processing, including meshing, to run the analysis and to output the most relevant curves, maps and waterfall diagrams for you to evaluate the acoustic performance of your product. With Actron scripting capabilities, it is very easy to integrate acoustic radiation calculation to your existing calculation process and it also enables to include Actron calculation in an optimization program, which is the last point I would like to talk to you about. Optimization is an important aspect when performing numerical simulations and many companies wanting to achieve spectacular acoustic enhancements are using optimization to come up with better engineered parts. For acoustics, optimization can be used, for example, to retrieve material properties of a foam. It can be also used to better design a cover by modifying its shape, changing some materials or adjusting its location. And there are actually many more applications for optimization for acoustics. Thanks to its Python API, Actron can be integrated in your favorite optimization program. And if you do not already have an optimization program to work with, you can use the Enelopt optimization library, which is included in Actron. Enelopt is an open source optimization library developed by the MIT. It includes various global and local optimization algorithms and can be set up through very few Python commands. To conclude this presentation, I would say that whatever the industry and the product you are working on, you are probably observing an increasing focus on acoustic considerations, whether it comes from regulations, customer expectations, or a will to differentiate your product through a striking acoustic signature. We have seen that rather than doing acoustic surgery, we should try to integrate better acoustics in the development process of your products and numerical simulations can help you do that while reducing prototype testing costs and providing better knowledge of the physical phenomena. Actron Acoustics is an easy to use, accurate and efficient acoustic simulation software. It can be integrated very easily in your existing simulation process thanks to its coupling with most other numerical simulation software. So if you need to reduce the noise or to improve the sound quality of your product, Actron is the tool that will help you meet your objectives.